is Whitney, and I'm here with the fantastic Cami Garcia for the second annual RT Teen Day. And I am so excited about the Beautiful Creatures movie, and I know that you just have some new news, because I believe filming is starting soon, correct? Filming starts on Monday mm -hmm. in New Orleans, and the cast is already down there. They've been tweeting photos of themselves at the airport and hanging out in New Orleans. And they're going to be down there, I believe, through the middle of June. Mm -hmm. And then the movie is gonna come out on February 1st. It already has a release date. That's so, so very fantastic. Exciting. Has a lot of young people. It has uh, Emmy Rossum from Shameless and Phantom of the Opera. Mm -hmm. It has um, Zoe Deutsch is playing um, Emily Asher. She's from Ringer. Mm -hmm. We have Alice Englert who is up and coming, and she is uh, Lena. And I can't wait to see her. I bring know. Lena to well, screen. they've they've the fan art has been having a lot of like pictures with her with her dark hair, mm -hmm. and she looks gorgeous and exactly the way we imagine Lena. Oh, that's so perfect. I know. And I mean, I can only imagine the casting process you guys went through for Lena because her looks are so much a part of exactly who she is. Well, the. There's a lot of people involved in the casting, and the producer and the director were very involved. And you know, they kept us in the loop, but they really knew what they were looking for, and they found a lot of these kids that had been in you know a couple of things, but are really up and coming. And they're responsible for the casting, definitely not us. Well, either way, I'm super excited about it, and I know that's not the only thing you have on your plate because you also have another series, correct? I do. Um, both Margaret and I have a new have solo series coming out. The last Beautiful Creatures novel, Beautiful Redemption, comes out out on October 13th this year and then fitting. Um, very fitting and then the following um, fall my first uh, novel Unbreakable with also with Little Brown and my same editor it's the first book in the Legion series comes out and it's another paranormal romance a little bit darker it has um you know kind of it's a little bit edgier it's it's very different not southern gothic mm -hmm. But I think that my readers will still enjoy it. And that has recently been optioned um, for film by Mark Morgan, who did the Twilight movies. Um, I heard. I heard. We actually have a little blog post from you a couple of months ago where we got a chance to tell our readers about it. But what I'm really excited to hear about is if you can tell us just a quick one second, one scene that you're excited to see come to life. In For Beautiful Creatures? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, please. Um, I think one. I think one of one of my favorite scenes is kind of the first time that Ethan meets Macon, comes mm -hmm. face to face with you know Macon Ravenwood, mm -hmm. and knowing that Jeremy Irons is playing Macon Ravenwood makes me especially excited to see it because I have a big crush on him, <laughs> and I also am really excited because um, I think that. I just want to see the way Ridley and the, the powers and the effects translate mm -hmm. because I know that they're spending a lot of time creating a very realistic looking mm -hmm. Ravenwood and feel rather than something that's just very CG generated. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I'm because excited. I definitely imagined it as I was reading the books. I could see it all happening, but not in a like, ooh, way, no. much more like, this is happening. It's real. It's just part of their yeah. life. Richard Lagravenis, who's the director mm -hmm. and who is the screenwriter, he wants, he really had a vision that the film would feel very real so mm -hmm. that you you feel as Ethan does in the books that this is a, a real world that's hidden beneath our own and it could really be happening anywhere at any time. And I think that's all we've got to say guys. It could be happening anywhere at any time. So, so make sure you read the book first though <laughs> before too. you see the movie. <laughs> that's a teacher in me. I have mm -hmm. to say that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as, as a reader I'd say read the books first. But thank you so much Cammie. We wish you well on your next series and we can't wait to well, get that. I will keep and... coming back. It's so much fun here. Oh, perfect. Hi, you guys just saw me chatting with Cami Garcia. Now I'm here with her writing partner, Margaret Stoll, the other half of the fantastic talent behind Beautiful Creatures. Thank you so much for making time to chat with us today, Margaret. No thanks, I'm happy. Oh good, I'm so glad. If you were unhappy, it would just, I'd cry. I'd cry great big alligator well, who, tears. Well, who could be unhappy at RT? It's been really amazing. <laughs> Very true. This is our second ever teen day, and you just sat in on a panel, correct? I did. It was... Uh... I've never seen so many people in one room. It was a little frightening, but it was great. <laughs> so next year, you guys will have to make sure to be here with us. But right now, we are talking about the Beautiful Creatures movie that's on its way to us soon, right? Yeah, they start filming on Monday. It's, it's super exciting. There have been hundreds and hundreds of people down there working. Uh, the production team moved down there a few weeks ago. I know they were been rehearsing all last week, so we can't wait to get down there and, and see it ourselves. Oh, you guys are going to be able to watch yeah, the yeah. filming? Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah, we're excited. Um, so Cammie was just telling us about her favorite scene, the one that she's most looking forward to see come to life on screen. What is yours? Uh, well, Cammie and I have uh, 
a collaboration going with the movie people. So, I mean, when you say that specifically, my mind goes to the script and I mm -hmm. think about the things I know are going to be on screen. And I would have to say, it's not a scene per se, but the banter between um, Lena and Ethan is so is so spectacular. And the relationship also between Lena, no, between uh, Ethan and Link is so mm -hmm. hilarious that I think it's really the relationships in the, in the movie that are really fun. And then the, the beautiful South, you know, the haunting magic. Um, they have an Academy Award winning uh, cinematographer. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of uh, investment in the look and feel of the movie. So I think that will be really something. Excellent. Well, we are already all excited to see this movie. So that is not the only thing on your plate either. You have a new series coming out, the Icon series. Yeah, right? next year is a really big year for me because our final Beautiful Redemption hits October 23rd. The movie hits uh, February 1st and my book comes out in May. So that's my new series, Icons, which is a near future romance uh, with the tagline, your heart beats only with their permission. And uh, yeah, Ooh. it's pretty emotional and it's set in a near future Los Angeles. And I've been working on it with uh, my same editor, uh, Julie Shina at Little Brown. And she's helpful because she worked with Stephanie Meyer on both the Twilight series and then the host series. And so it was kind of interesting that what came out of me because I didn't really consult her about it and mm -hmm. then ended up with my own sort of sci-fi twist. And so um, she said, oh, I've, I've done this. I've, <laughs> I've done this transition. I, I know exactly I what I'm it. doing. <laughs> So can you tell me one one little secret detail that fans can look forward to from the first book in the Icon series? Um, I think uh, it's it's got wonderful characters, some of whom uh, some of whom are not human, some of whom Ooh. are um, are not even physical, and uh, it also has uh, teenagers who are sort of the human personifications of love, sorrow, rage, and fear. So Neat. that's sort of that's sort of the uh, love uh, quadrangle. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited. So t tell our readers again when they can get this first book. Icons, the first book in the Icon series comes out uh, in May of next year. So rem the dates to remember, Beautiful Creatures readers, are October 23rd for our last, the end of the Beautiful Creatures novels. February 1st for the movie, that's a locked date, and then also Icons is coming out the next May. And then the next uh, fall, you'll have Cammie's first book, so it all works together. I love it. So now we've got our calendar, guys. Go on home, mark those Write up. Write down. And thank you so much, Margaret. This was absolutely a blast. So much fun. Bye, guys. Thank you.